morning, welcome to the Lake District. Um, in a tiny little old village, Hamlet, um, called Carlton, which is where I'm starting to ride from today. Beautiful corner, quiet corner of the Lake District. start this ride in um, Spark Bridge which is the other side of this hill I thought I'd start it somewhere different today just for a change um, at Colton Church old historic church that means I'm going to do this climb this climb is normally, normally near the end of the ride that means I'm doing this first this time off-road now, turned onto a bridleway and kind of heading generally north on this, uh, these fields quite grassy sluggy stuff but can, can get wet certain times of the year and be a bit spongy on here but it's alright today not had much late rain recently so it's all very dry and hard and okay rolling see some of the mountains in the distance I think the pointy one over there is um, Il Bell and uh, so that's the Kentmere Horseshoe kind of area over there I think in the distance it might be the Howgills um, there's Colton the village I started in the church where I started the ride from basically come around this way to here so far still quite early in the ride you can see more Bay in the distance and uh, some of the Lancashire fells so I just wanted to pick a short fairly easy non-technical ride today not been on the bike hardly any at all this uh, summer last ride was back in early spring it's been a bit of a non-event this year, so something easy to ease myself back into it a little bit. And this is uh, should be perfect for that today. Panorama's opening up this side of things now. Stunning. So Dunnerdale Fells there. I think that's Heart of Fell. Got the Conistons, the old man of Coniston in the middle, Dow Crag, Weverland. And down there, around the corner is Coniston Water somewhere. And now we're going through these bovines. One of the good things about coming out this time of year is there's normally some food for foraging. Mmm, very sweet. We come from there, and now we're going into some undergrowth. <laughs> Thank you. 
Quite nice. Little section of single track this. It's not, you know, fast or <laughs> that flowy, but it's quite nice. Really nice um, natural woodland to go through. Last time I came here, all that was trees. It's all been felled. Here's uh, commercial forestry up here. There's, I guess there's a chance it could be also for um, disease management because of um, the ash dieback that's going around. Following the signs now, the right away signs for High Ickenthwaite. This is quite a popular mountain bike trail. You can um, use this to link up um, with some of the trails in Grisdale Forest, which is just north of here. So if you were doing, say, the Parkamore descent, you could then that drops you down into High Nibthwaite. You can then uh, climb. You go a bit south on the road from there and then turn left uh, you can climb up to reach this point and then get on this trail and that can swing you back towards the uh, forest again you can use it in a few of my routes uh, to uh, link up Grisdale forest trails particularly the Parkamore one it's also uh, the northest most extension of this route that I'm doing today. track but still good fun Feeling the rustiness <laughs> on this loose stuff. You can tell I've not been on a bike for a while. Still good fun. So we're at High Ickenthwaite and just turned onto this byway signpost to Oxen Park, which goes that way, heading south again. It's time for lunch. I'm on the sandwich of the day is a cheese and onion with uh, mature cheddar, and we've got a an addition of Walker's Squares cheese and onion. 
give you a bit of extra crunch. Mmm, good stuff. Yes. Building work going on here. a bird of prey above me. Ah. Two. Ah. Ah. Somewhat distracted by the birds coming down there. I'm in for a bit. Not for long now, I don't think. I'm going through what's a bit of a uh, nature reserve, I think. Really pretty around here. There we go. A bird hide there, and that's why. Gorgeous. So we're back off road, and uh, a bit of a climb now to get above the uh, church 
in Colton again, so not far from the end. Steady climb through the Heath Woods, beautiful woodland. Before the uh, very brief drop into Colton. Tough climb this one actually. It's all climbable, but it goes on. Oh, a few steep bits and uh, here we are pretty much back to the beginning of where I started today Colton and the uh, historic church that's where we came down from at the end um, normal version of this starts over there in Sparbridge but as I said before I started here today I'm not sure what these steps are for coffins or people to get out of carriages beautiful okay thanks for watching and I'll see you next time